Hi, welcome to another Harry's Hobbies video. And uh, this is the box opening of the Mud Creek Models HO Scale Chrissy's Co. And this is going to be a little different box opening because this video will also be going on to the uh, Mud Creek Models Facebook page. So, um, you know, I've done box openings before and I don't, I don't hold anything back. As far as uh, what's in the box. So, and here we go. This is uh, nicely boxed. It's a larger box than uh, this is from Tyler's Traps. So you can see that the box is quite a bit bigger. And that's because there are more structures in this one. As opposed to the one that was in the uh, Tyler's Traps and the... Uh, Wayman's shipping. Alrighty, so here we have. Okay, set that down. Ooh, a nice packaging of uh, some wood strips. And there's there's a few dowels in there too. Now I did uh, I did cheat a little bit though, and I want to I want to throw this in there, and I picked up some extra dowels as well that uh, I'll be able to use and we have uh, some more wood of course we'll know what these are for until we get into the directions and then we have a nice packaging of some 3d printed parts there's some boxes ah there's a nice brick chimney and a couple of nice uh, metal vents that will go on the roof. Here's uh, what appears to be a, an oil tank for outside. Oh, and another uh, chimney for the for the roof of one of the buildings. Uh, that, so those are pretty nice. They're, it looks like they're nicely done. And we'll I'll get, into, um, get into those a little bit better. And we have a nice package of uh, basswood. This is usually the uh, uh, the walls and uh, doorways and things of that nature. And this will be the, uh, yep, this is going to be the roofs, the, the roofing. And this is nice. We have some... Uh, some metal for some metal roofing so that this 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 is this is fun to work with i've worked with this in uh with this type in the past on a couple of the builds that i've done and this stuff uh really works out good uh, some frame uh angles and uh not too sure what this is but i'm sure it's in the directions and here we have um, some laser cut windows. This is on a clear plastic sheet. And set that off to the side. I rarely use the clear plastic. I do use it on some things, but I rarely use it because I, I prefer to use uh, uh, the Elmer's glue technique of swirling it in and adding it to the windows. And here we have, obviously, windows. Lots and lots of windows there. And windows and doors here. And we have our uh, tar paper roofs material. We have lots of that. Lots of the tar paper roof materials. And uh, oh, hey, there's some shingles. I think I still have some shingles left from the uh, from one of the other models. So we do have some shingles that we'll be able to put on. And here we have the direction. So let's see how, uh, since these are all the way at the bottom, which is fine. No big deal on the packaging. Okay. The small structure was the prototype for the model you received. 
windows are different. Bracing for these walls is not necessary as they are not wood, but thick cardstock. Okay. Corrugated aluminum siding in the roof. And then here's the um, the decking. So that's what um, that's what this is. This will be for some of the decking. And then uh, pilings and bracings, which will be quite a bit of that is in here. That's uh, I have uh, just two dowels here. Hmm. Okay. Well, that's okay. And the back of the building, bracing of the walls. And this is for one of the thin buildings. We have um, sheet stock for decking. That must be um, perhaps that's this piece that they're referencing sheet stock for decking weather or paint accordingly molding in the roof and the directions are directions are pretty good we got no complaints about that I've got no complaints about that. Now, what I do plan on doing, since we, you know, since I've gone through the directions, and uh, got uh, that uh, ready to ready to work on, and get this back in the box. Now, I had an interesting idea, because if you looked online and you've seen the pictures of this model, you'll notice that uh, it's got a couple of rather large uh, open areas underneath when you, when you actually build it into the diorama part. So, I thought that uh, I might put a hobo camp under one of those one of those little open areas in the structures. This is from Woodland Scenics. It's a seven piece uh, set with uh, five hobos, a little small fire, a little box for this guy to sit on. And uh, I just thought that that might be, you know, a little something to add extra to the uh, overall effect of the model. So what I'll do now is um, I will end the video here and um, I'll, I'll uh, shoot some shoot some pictures and put those right right after this in uh, in a slideshow format for you guys to watch. So stay tuned for that. That's coming up right next. And once again, Thanks for watching.